Great. In this part, I'm going to greatly explain what kind of lights you, you should be choosing. Because here I've used the whole uh, DC connections. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm not really used an inverter to actually convert the, the DC power into AC power. Uh, because of which I'm saving a whole lot of power uh, on the inverter consumption. So because of which I've actually decided to go with DC bulbs. I mean, DC bulbs are quite expensive at times. But again, I mean, this is a one-time uh, spend. And these LED bulbs are going to last forever. Okay. Great. So these are the bulbs that I've actually used. So there are two bulbs that I've used. So this is one type. And, the, and for inside the circle she shed, I've used the tube lights. Okay. And these have heat sinks on them. Again, I bought uh, these approximately at some 400 rupees. And this have not. This has not really given me any problem till now. Great. And in this, I've actually used the the drip irrigation hoses. Fine. So I've used them to wire. Fine. And these are some speaker wires that were actually lying around. But again, good quality wires. I mean, when you're using DC, you should also make sure uh, you don't use too thin wires. Because unlike AC, DC uh, actually, I mean, the, the implications of resistance on the DC voltage is really, really high. And because of which there is a lot of heat generated. So you should, also, you should always make sure you use the right, amount, uh, right gauge wire uh, for DC. Great, so let me show you how this one lights up. That's it. So here comes this one. So this one pretty much lights this whole shed up. Okay, uh, and let me turn this off now. Great, this is how you go. And, and th these drip irrigation hoses were primarily lying around uh, in my uncle's home. So I've tried minimizing the number of items that I bought to actually reduce the whole cost of this project. Let me show you 